It is my stance of no stance that martial arts and the Budo tradition nourish the mind, body, and soul. Just as food and water give our physical body vitality, so too does the study of Budo nurture us. This book is for those looking to improve their life by learning how to go within, examine the ego, and merge with the infinite potential of the correct view. You, the reader, will have to take action, perform a self-examination. It will be difficult. However, in the end, you will know how to keep your center and not get taken off balance, physically and mentally. It is my stance of no stance that a person must embark on the journey of learning the martial arts in some way, either at a school or from another individual. The learning of the arts is a necessity for thoroughly understanding the writings and lessons in this book. It is my stance of no stance that you, the reader, must meditate on these words. The reader must know that these words are just the gate. Excerpt. Chapter nine, go through the dark side. Only a man who knows what it is like to be defeated can reach down to the bottom of his soul and come up with the extra ounce of power it takes to win when the match is even. Spitfire and chew nails. Chop sturdy wood. Carry buckets of heavy water. I can only impart the concept of going through to the dark side. However, it is a personal journey that only you can take to understand fully. Also, there are a few teachings on this matter that I can impart only to students I train, those with a strong mind and people of the way. The conditioning of the martial arts is a special thing. I have seen some of the most arrogant become the most humble simply through hard training. There simply is no shortcut in terms of the conditioning that comes along with Budo training. Whether it is striking the Makiwara hundreds of times doing iron palm training for the hands, or working many boxing rounds on the heavy bag, or endless swings with the heavy boken. The training is designed to make you do one thing, dig. You must dig deep within yourself. You must journey inward. There you will see the core of yourself. It is a quiet place, a place that generally is not visited. It is this place that can rest on the tip of a hair, yet it is so grand that it contains the whole of the universe. It is your spirit. What I've seen is that those who doubt the existence of spirit have not dug deep enough in the soil. The minerals and precious stones are deep. They are not on the surface. Sound is at the surface, but silence is at the core. Many give up on the journey inward. They grow exhausted while digging and maybe even claim this is too difficult a task. Therefore, they do not make it down far enough. Those who are willing to remain steadfast, maintain discipline and continue to dig will reach the grand horizon where the warriors dwell. It is a special place reserved for the few. During my time in Osaka, Japan, I was fortunate to visit Shaitanoji Temple. Bow to the sword and bow to the kamiza or kamidana, then bow to the teacher. Yaido practice is a meditation in motion. Please remember, the sword that kills is the same sword that gives life. This killing should not be only understood as a person. This killing is also an ending to all hindrances and distractions to kill your own doubts, frustrations, weaknesses, impatience and so on. 
This killing of the evils within is crucial, as it's what gives birth to the good, the new you, the new life. More of these talks are further outlined in my book, A Walk Toward Victory Over the Ego, Journey Inward. Be sure to read those passages and put them from paper to heart. It is my wish that you journey safely and journey well.